Now, page four, the Bernie bots. Let's face it, Senator Bernie Sanders has a cult-like following. He had many young supporters during the primary because often college-age voters are attracted to the counter-revolutionaries, and that is exactly what Bernie Sanders is. He is a counter-revolutionary. Sanders wants to pretty much undo what the founders of this country and the framers of the Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution established for us some 240 years ago. Bernie Sanders is an anarchist. Oh, sure, he wears a suit, but underneath there's a dictatorial, Castro-like, militant, Marxist, socialist, ideological soul. And so Sanders is telling the news media right now that he's not being questioned as part of the investigation into the Steve Scalise shooting. If he's not, he certainly should be. After all, the nutcase gunman was clearly inspired by old Bernie and the other leftists in this country. And this is why it is so phony of Sanders and all the other progressives to suddenly say they are so sorry for the shooting of House Majority Whip Scalise. By definition, counter-revolutionaries understand that they've got to break a few political eggs in order to bake their radical cake. So let's go back. Let's go back, shall we? To last week and Bernie Sanders on the floor of the United States Senate looking like a kid with his hand caught in the proverbial cookie jar. Is someone who apparently volunteered on my presidential campaign. Stop the tape. Now, I don't believe in guilt by association in this case because Bernie Sanders was running a national campaign for president, but I do believe in responsibility. If you're going to put on a suit and run for president of the United States, and by the way, act like a senator in the United States Senate, whether you're independent, Democrat, or Republican, I believe that you have some sort of responsibility to the position that you are holding. Just like on this program, I can't come out and say whatever floats into my mind. There is a code of ethics for what I do, and there should be a code of ethics for what Bernie Sanders and other members of Congress do, and especially if you're running for president of the United States. A very, very influential and powerful position can affect many people, whether they have a high IQ or a low IQ. And Bernie Sanders knows all of this. This is nothing new for Bernie. Roll tape. I am sickened by this despicable act Stop the tape. Now, remember who this guy is. This guy is proud that he was arrested in Berkeley dozens of years ago for whatever he did back then in the 1960s as part of the radical movement. But he's also very proud of his past, of supporting the communists uh, down in South America. He's openly supported Castro and probably is a big fan. I bet he has a poster of Che Guevara in his home. Remember who this guy is. He's a radical. Roll tape. And let me be as clear as I can be. Stop the tape. Let me be as clear as I can be, because it was just a few months ago on national television, on another network, that Bernie Sanders was applauding what is going on at the national town hall meetings going on from coast to coast being held by Republican members of Congress. He was applauding what he was seeing, which was anarchy and, in some cases, violence. He quoted as saying that he actually approved of the fact that some of these congressmen and women had to leave through the back door and were literally fearing for their safety. He said something to the effect of, that's what we want. That is Bernie Sanders, and that's essentially what he said. Roll tape. Violence of any kind is unacceptable in our society. Stop the tape. Unless, of course, you're a Marxist socialist who happens to believe and approve of what Joseph Stalin did. Roll tape. And I condemn this action in the strongest possible terms. Stop the tape. He's saying that on the outside, but on the inside, he's saying, hey, the message is being received. This is all working. Roll tape. Real change can only come about through nonviolent action Stop the and tape. Okay, so what he's quoting here is the recent shift uh, in ideological terms from Joseph Stalin to Saul Alinsky, because the whole idea behind Saul Alinsky and rules for radicals was for a Bernie Sanders to put on a suit 
go to Washington, D.C. and try and create a coup or a revolution or a counter-revolution through government. That is the whole idea behind Saul Alinsky and Rules for Radical. So, in essence, Bernie Sanders is applauding what took place. I'm sorry, but I firmly believe that he is applauding what is taking place from coast to coast and this so-called effort to, quote, resist. This is Bernie Sanders. So enough, enough of this phony disavowalment. Here's the bottom line. House Majority Whip Scalise remains in the hospital right now. He has been upgraded from critical to serious condition, which is great news, but let's face it, he nearly died after suffering severe damage to internal organs. And doctors predict that he will have a long, long road toward recovery.